Hey, I'm Peeps, I am Mubit, the assistant director on Hymns of Aberice, and we're here at Broadview Riding Stables down in Bestwood near Nottingham. So have a word with the awesome Keely. Hi Keely, um, the owner. Um, and we're giving some of the senior crew of HOA to, uh, a little tour around the place today because we're thinking about using these guys for a chase scene coming up. And it doesn't look like they're here yet, so we'll be back when they when have arrived. Action! Speak of the devil and they shall arrive. Hello. Alright mate. Yes. Not bad. <laughs> uh, Hollywood. Hollywood hug and all that. How Hollywood we doing? Hug. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. Um, we'll continue the vlog in a minute because uh, I've got a burger to eat, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Brings back good memories of some other hot shit. Really? Well I rode as a with a someone who was in the late team to start riding properly. There's normally only about two horses in here. We've <laughs> got loads in today. Oh, wow. yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah. Hey, baby. These are all obviously tame um, riding horses, so. Yeah, sure, mate. Um, I'm sure you, you and especially you and uh, Mark are going to know all the crack about all that stuff anyway. Right, I had to ride horses when we were shooting mothering heights. You're more my size. <laughs> Mark, you're not going anywhere now. That's it. He's made a friend. <laughs> Obviously, you can bear in mind that even the woodland's all theirs as well, so we can, we can shoot in the woods. Um, I've got drone shots. I've got drone shots here going over these, going, coming from the very back of this field yeah. about this high. Coming here, going up over these woods here, mm -hmm. and then showing their, you know, revealing the horse. They had a horse jumping event on at the thing just there. No. Nice. Yeah, mind your feet. So I've got all aerial shots so you can see the kind of scale of it. Mm -hmm. well, obviously, the back of it, a little bit further we'd out. still need to flatten this out though, Mark, wouldn't we? Flatten out the stakes of the. We can get people <laughs> be standing sort of around it. You wouldn't have people right next to it, apart from mm. me. I'm not pretty close. Yeah. Um, but that's is a great spot. Great views. Definitely going to need two days. Yeah. Yeah. But we, what we dig out for the the stake pit, we can flatten some of it out with anyway. Then we need to build the platform around the stake, and then you get your your pyre around it. Mm. We've got flatter bits back there, but obviously closer. Oh, there's so flatter bits better. there, and then there's over there. But over there we could, but we don't have to get a permit from the council. So that's why oh, I was no. thinking. No, no, I agree. No, this is quite nice. This is this, this is their is field up here as well, because it's a flat, if you want it really flat, it's up there. But then you'd be scorching the grass, so it'd be it'd be a harder no, sell. This is fine, mate. So, this is fine. Yeah. yeah. It's very still here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that would make that will make it better. So there's no traffic noise either. Yeah, yeah that's what I think. That's what I thought. That feeling that they, they burnt a few people here in previous yeah. days and months as yeah. well. It's yeah. like seeing some action leading up to it and everything. We need to really make really, use really of that track really as well, that, mm. the journey to it, I think. Yeah, that's the thing. And the track goes on into those woods and it comes out at the at the park here because the park's like an L shape that comes yeah. around like that. So you can actually go in, you can even, they, they ride horses around the park, they're allowed. So you could ride it around various areas of the park, come in this way or whatever you want to do. Really. You ride, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. We would need to uh, get a cart, I think, of some description. Yeah, so anybody that can't ride out of the posse yeah, can, can be in the cart in the with, cart them, with them, yeah. and we'll be out front Do you think Elsa can get her friends, friends to be able to bring his cart? Yeah, exactly. So looking, looking the business no, on the horse, no. basically. And I've, I've spotted mine. We all already made friends, we've bonded now. So. <laughs> all it would need to be with them, all it would need to be with them, like a couple of big wheels, and something for them to stand on. Because they would be being almost like dragged through the drag through, so as everybody can chuck stuff at them. What we could do there is you could get a shot behind the crowd, all cheering and this, like a football match, and you've got the figures in the front there burning. It's so grim, isn't it? So that's what that was their entertainment. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean public hangings. Yeah, for, public hangings in this country were only banned in 1845. Yeah. So Jesus. when you when you look at Didn't what was prisons act. What it was where they were like um, what we have as football matches or boxing or whatever now. Do you know the reason they banned yeah. public executions as well? It wasn't because they thought it was a human rights issue. They yeah. banned them because the crime rates went up mm. during public executions because there were so many people around. Yeah. It was pickpockets and, mm. and robbery. <laughs> Irony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit wrong, that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. weirdly, yeah, you could be hanged for being a pickpocket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a pickpocket at a hanging. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so they're, so they're picking pockets at a hanging. Yeah. <laughs> you can get yeah. hanged for Risking it. Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. Wrong ones will do wrong, I suppose. <laughs> they will do, mate. Yeah, regardless of whatever the. So many people packed into yeah. one place, though. You know, yeah. A lot of rich people mm. used it as entertainment. So. Yeah. As they did, they used to pay governors of prisons and jails <coughs> and things to go and just look and go up at the prisoners and nut houses. Yeah. Well, that, that was one of them thing. things about uh, the Elephant Man, wasn't it? John yeah. Merrick with yeah. the rich. Freak, freak shows were massive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and laugh at the loonies, sort of thing. That, 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 that literally there could be a reveal. Where you could, you could catch us actually riding along with them behind, and then you yep. have this as a reveal. Yeah, you'll be the camera. <clears throat> Chose to be in a second AD. <laughs> right, so she'd be like, Oh, she could come up from here, it's a lot steeper. So we've got a track here, guys, and then they want to kind of be leading her by a horse or a other things so she could be like that. I'm just looking down at the ground, that's why you probably can't hear me. No, all we had to do is that start there. And if you sit start start down low here, all you when you was coming up, all you can see is the top of your head coming up like that. Yeah. So it's a it's a great shot that. That's nice. Workable, isn't it? Yeah, very workable. Mate. And like I say, you can't see the barbed wire from this angle. You've still got, yeah. still got spikes here. You could even put some tarp over that yeah. metal one. Mm. You can't tell what's the metal one. You can't tell. Yeah. Not yourself? No. No, you'd get away with yeah. that, mate. No problem. <laughs> yeah. That's true, yeah. Metal pike in the ground is fine. The barbed wire is an issue, but as I said, if, if you're shooting from this way through the fire, you wouldn't see it anyway. You don't see the barbed wire, no. And the nice thing about something in the round, like a stick, is that yeah. you can you can break your 180. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, in fact, it might be nice to have the drone swan. I, no, I, that's the other thing, I've already scoped it out. I'd be uh, 10 metres up, hmm. and I can set a, a waypoint over the top of the spike, yeah. come out to about 5 metres, and I can circle it mm. around like, autonomously and control the camera like coming up and down. And, Remember that shot we did yeah. on Whiteblade? Yeah, of, of Francesca. Yeah, of Francesca. Yeah, they, 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 we, had, we had her as the, as the centre point, and we had the, the drone just coming straight up, but spinning. Oh, like spinning so you yeah. see the part. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that's yeah, no yeah. problem. So we, something like that. As it came out, you saw the battle yeah. going on around. And something like that over this, as you go up and you kind of like revealing everything else that's going on around it. Yeah, no, that might that. be a nice shot to stick in there. Spent a grand <laughs> building this long house, then burnt it to the ground. I think that's probably the most fun I've had. Yeah. yeah. Burning that down. <laughs> I remember sitting around it with the embers with hot dog sausages and fuck. Marshmallows! <laughs> 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 So there we go, there's a quick look at the second stage of Location Scouts. And you've seen the first stage on my previous vlogs where I go myself and sort of narrow down the options. Um, and that gives you an idea what happens next when we, we had the producer and director and the historian and everyone there. And just a couple of looks at what kind of things we discuss. Obviously I'm not going to keep away the whole farm there but you get an idea of the kind of things we have to think about. We have to think about health and safety of the both the actors and the crew and also of the uh, people around us you know the general public like the members of the horse stables things like that and there's a heck of a lot more that goes into it in terms of making sure everyone's safe everyone's happy that the landowners are happy and the fact that uh, we are using part of the land of an established business so we've well, got to make sure the business owners are happy as well and they can carry on with their just normal daily routine and that we cause as little disruption as possible and on that note i do want to say a special thank you to keely and all the team at broadview riding stables they've been brilliant with us from day one 
They are fantastic. The community is fantastic. Myself and Dean's team of Fletcher have done some drone sessions and photo sessions with them as well as part uh, as all part of it to say thank you. But yeah, couldn't say nice enough things about them. So if you're in a Nottingham area, go and check out Broadview Riding Stables. If you're into that world, very much worth checking out. Lovely community, lovely peeps in general. Gotta love those guys. But yeah, hopefully that was interesting for you. I'll see you at the next video. Um, do remember to like and subscribe and all that if you're on Facebook and, and YouTube and things. And as always, thanks for watching. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.